memo obtained by the punch on Thursday revealed why a proposal for security equipment along the Abuja Kaduna rail track, which was presented to the Federal Executive Council by the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Ameshi, was rejected. Recall that Ameshi had while fielding questions from journalists after the train bombing that left at least eight persons dead, said he had predicted the attack and presented a memo to FEC for the procurement of security equipment, but it was rejected. According to the minutes of the FEC meeting of September 24, 2021, marked EC 2021-236, which was presided over by Vice President Yemi Osibanjo while the President Major General Mahmoud Bari retired was attending the United Nations General Assembly, Ameshi recommended that a firm Mogjan Nigeria Limited be given the contract worth 3.7 billion naira. The firm, which was incorporated on August 6, 2019, by Prince Godwin Momo, Choma Momo, and George Momo, had a turnover of 84.9 million naira. We had doubts about the capability of a company which was formed less than two years prior and had no track record of handling a contract of 3.7 billion naira or a contract on surveillance systems. The company was also to be paid upfront. Our investigation pointed to a conflict of interest, said a top presidency official. According to the memo cited by a top source, Ameshi in his presentation stated that the Bureau of Public Procurement had reviewed the process of procurement and had given a certificate of no objection for the contract, adding that the project would be funded from the 71.4 billion naira budget of the ministry. The minister subsequently asked the council to approve the award of contract for the procurement and installation of electronic surveillance system and interrogation unit on the Abuja Kaduna Rigas 200 km rail, railway monitoring, rail intrusion detection system, and emergency response system in favor of Misas Mogjan Nigeria Limited. Cage was dot net limited in the sum of 3.7 billion naira, inclusive of 7.5 percent VAT, with a completion period of four months. However, ministers in the council questioned the capacity of the firm to deliver, as well as the failure of Ameshi to provide proper detail on the capabilities of the equipment. There was also a scanty record of the company's uh, past projects which could prove that it was capable of executing such a project as a report by the Federal Ministry of Transportation cited by the punch showed that the firm had no evidence of carrying out such a project in the past. The minutes of the Meeting read in part, some members expressed concern about the quality of the memorandum as there was no description of the surveillance system concept notes, brand name, country of manufacture or review by the previous user to enable them to make informed decisions. They stated that as sophisticated as the surveillance system was touted to be, there was no indications that it had been demonstrated and tested by the security technology agencies. They equally observed that all the projects were lumped together under one budget line, which they noted was not good enough as each rail line project was supposed to be captured in its individual budget line. According to the minutes of the FEC meeting, the chief of staff to the president, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, asked if the equipment would be installed across all rail lines in the country and if there would be a provision for training to enable staff members to acquire knowledge and build capacity 
on the use of the surveillance system. O.C. Banjo pointed out that the solution system was described in a generic term and whether it had a brand name adding that the system being a real equipment monitoring solution had to have a brand name and a comprehensive description of its functions. The vice president also needed a description of how the system would work. Ameji responded by saying that it was just a pilot program and if it worked, it would be replicated across the country. He said the system would work in such a way that if the rail was tempered with, it would send signals to an observation platform. In his remarks, the vice president directed that in view of the observation raised by members, there was a need for the ministry to provide further description of the equipment, its brand name, manufacturer, and how it worked. The memo read, My viewers at home, was your reaction to this? Please uh, drop your reaction on the comment uh, section and uh, your voice will be heard loud and clear around the world. What's your take? What's your opinion? Please uh, drop your reaction uh, on the comment section, okay? All right, uh, that is it. Uh, uh, leaked memo revealing why FEC rejected Amish's 3.7 billion Naira security proposal. All right, what's your take on this? Please drop your reaction, okay? All right, we have a lot of reactions here already, and uh, the first reaction here is from Urobo Man. The name is Urobo Man. Uh, reacting says, um, he says Ameshi is a scam. He says Ameshi is a scam. Okay. What's your ration to Uroboma comment here saying Ameshi is a scam? Please drop your ration in the comment section. Okay. Then uh, Abraham Anam also commented saying, um, or rather replied to Uroboma comment saying, um, I didn't say so. I didn't say so. Okay. I only agree with your opinion. Say I didn't say so. I only agree with your opinion. Okay. Then uh, also. Ed has did a reply to Robert comment saying, uh, Bro, had it been that a better solution was proffered by someone else among us the fake, this would have happened. In as much as I is a scam, according to you, but he, he, he saw this coming. As for me, I have always had it in mind that the next target by bandits and terrorists would be rail lines and trains. Well, I just pity people that lost their lives as a result of this negligence. Okay. Still taking more reactions, and this is from uh, John Child. John A. Child says, uh, apart from the proposal by Amishi, was there no alternative security arrangement to protect our railway? Okay. Then uh, Papa Ziman did a uh, reply to this saying. Uh, Understand the security situation in the country, this security arrangement should have been incorporated in the original agreement for the construction of the railway instead of treating it as a as an aftermath, as an afterthought. Okay, this is all we can take for now. Thanks and God bless and share, subscribe to our channel, and make this report very nice. Please report across all these platforms and bye for now. Do join us in the other please. Okay.